through the dark gulfs where no one goes, through the emptiness, through the silence that goes on and on, my night flyer and I give chase. When we started designing the Night Flyer, we wanted to tell a story that spanned different environments all within the confines of one spaceship. They showed me the set design and what the Night Flyer would look like, and it was all very exciting. We wanted to really steer away from your generic sci-fi. We wanted something a lot darker in its presence. This mission faces a threat you do not understand. One of the biggest characters in the show is the ship. The spaceship has a personality of its own. It's as if the ship is alive. In fact, sometimes we go, wait, is this ship alive? There's always a really ominous presence just lurking. There was something in there. It's a closed environment. And so when odd things start to happen, there's no escape. It took many months to design and build the sets. They are a complicated maze. You know, there are all these long, sweeping tunnels and everything. So it took, I think, a week to not get lost on the set. I'm like, wait, where the hell am I? How did I get back to here? The ship has corners and angles. It seems like it goes on forever. It's very large, and there's layers of the ship that can be peeled back over time. It gives you new kinds of scares to bring to the audience. There's no real CGI or green screen. Everything is an industrial set you can touch and you can feel it. There's metal floors, there's windows, you can see space outside, we've got LED walls. There's this big massive screen, it looks like you're looking into outer space. All the sets are kind of intense. All the decks, the command center, the living quarters, the medical bays, the mission labs. The different sort of the bowels of the ship are a certain way, the sort of front of house of ship is another way. And I've never seen a command center like this one on a ship before. Everybody's stations look hyper-realistic. One of my favorite parts of the set is the memory suite. If you walk into it, the way it's designed has this really cool echo effect because it's almost like a perfect circle. You sit right in the center of it and there are lights flashing in your face. It's just, it's just super cool. The domes were my mother's design. Bejeweled life glowing against the blackness of space. They're nothing without the outer ring to support them. There's six habitat domes that have been attached to the front of the ship. These domes are quite beautiful in, in geometric shape. Right now we're in the outer ring, and it's as if you're looking out into the domes as they're spinning around outside of the ship. It's beautiful. They actually build a dome outside and place it in the forest, and that kind of feels pretty cool. I just think it's quite a cool thing when you mix that organic industrial thing. Things are a bit different. I can't wait to actually see it come alive on the screen. If you set foot on any of the stages here, you immediately see just how much work has gone into creating the show. It's a complete brand new world that we've built from scratch. The whole thing is just so stunning and huge. Every single bolt, every single shape, every single detail of this world, there's nothing like it. Every time we have someone come to visit the set, you see it in their face. They are literally on a spaceship. And there's this feeling that comes over people, which is, oh my god, you built this.